What's up, everybody? We're going to be talking about Reason and Ableton yet again and rewiring. So if you watch the first tutorial, we already know you got to open up Ableton first. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Now this time we're going to look at the more advanced way to get live and reason working together. Um, yet again, if you watch the first one, I basically just ran reason sound into live. And then you would use reason like you normally do. And use live like you normally do, except they would be in sync now. So, what we're going to be doing this time is you're going to want to make an audio track and a MIDI track for every instrument that you're going to use in Reason. So I have one audio and one MIDI. Let's go ahead and open up Reason. Now, when I like to rewire like this, first off, I get rid of all my mixers and everything because I don't really need it anymore. I'm going to be running sound straight into Ableton. So let's say I want to create a maelstrom. So I'm going to put that on there. You got to hit tab to flip around to the back. Make sure it's all connected up right, and it is. So since it's stereo, it has a left and a right. Take both of those and the left and right in. Um, if you don't know much about the back view and reason, you can always, you know, drag your cables to where they need to go. Now in live, I need to go in, turn my audio input to reason, and it's going to be reason 1, 2, because that's what my Maelstrom's plugged into. I want to turn that to in so there's your settings there and then for the MIDI I'm gonna wanna pick reason for the MIDI 2 and then I can actually pick what it's gonna be going to so Maelstrom so now when my MIDI's on it's basically controlling Maelstrom Turn that off here. So if I were to load a patch or something, it'd all be here. So then when I record stuff, I would just record it straight like that. So now I have my MIDI right here in Ableton, and then I can do what I need to with it. But it's the sounds coming from Reason. And let's just do another one real quick, just to do it again. Um, so make a new audio track and a new MIDI track. And let's make let's make a subtractor this time. Now the subtractor is mono. So that's just going to be going into input three. So here yet again, here's my audio that I'm going to use for the subtractor. So I want to change it to reason. And instead of three, four, I want to go just to three. 
turn it on in and for the MIDI the output to reason and then pick subtractor now one nice thing about these names I'm pretty sure if you rename it let's call it base it's gonna show up over here as base so it'll make it a little bit more easy to figure out what you're actually going to So then always I can come in here, load a patch. Or something like so. And then, you know, add a break to it or something. This one's all off tempo. Also turn up stuff like the actual sound itself here. Uh, where's my volume on the ocean? It's been so long since I've used reason. But like here's your volume there. If you're a subtractor, you can turn that up. Get a little bit more volume out of the synth itself. So that is a more extensive way to rewire Ableton and Reason. Alright, peace.